it's really extraordinary how we could be faced with what seems to be insurmountable challenges. And yet, as we have the ability to move through it, and as you say, make the choice to move through it, overcome whatever obstacle there is, and being positive about the end result that can happen if we do so, it really just shifts everything, opens up the door to humanity. And then one change acknowledged, and then another change, and then another. Mm. The break in the chain of this is how often we don't acknowledge those steps and we don't remember them, so we have it, it has to keep being repeated, I guess, yeah. in, in so many ways, because this is serious work. This really the most difficult work we do as human beings for our time on the planet, and yet we tend to want to brush over it and put it on to other people. Well, if only those people would change. I'm fine. I don't have any yeah. issues. And that <laughs> yeah. becomes the myth, you know, even when interviewing people about their race relations experiences, it usually starts out that way. Where I grew up in my culture, in my community, everything was perfect. It was just when mm-hmm. we, those new people came. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> trying they to brought all the trouble. Out. They brought yeah, all the it's trouble. always those other, right, that's, that's always the other people. But we see that operating on, on a systemic level, obviously. The racism we're dealing with in so many aspects of our society as things crack open and the brokenness is is revealed, you know, whether it's our the health disparities that COVID is showing, the economic disparities with our the, the crisis we're in now, the political divisiveness, and obviously the the murders of of innocent black people and the you know the the injustices that um been facing. That, that people that people see all the time, but then historically we had that. You know, this is a culmination of things that have been happening for decades too. 